Hello everyone, Ember here, and welcome back to a new video. In this one, I basically just wanted to take a look at past Ace Bear cards and basically give my thoughts on them and sort of just offer any opinions as to what Pokemon might be planning to do with Ace Specs, because in case you hadn't realized or in case you might have forgotten, they basically announced at the World Championships that Ace Specs would be returning in 2024. And we didn't really get much of a confirmation as to, you know, what this would entail. Would we get a very similar design to the previous A specs, which we'll look at today? You know, will we see any major differences made? Will there be alternate rules? Are you like, you know, you could play multiple in your deck or something. So we really don't know too much information, but at the very least, we can do a bit of speculation based on the stuff that we have. So first up, I just kind of just want to take a look at is the two upcoming, well, the two tools that were released, We've got G Booster and G Scope. Now these were both made for Genesect EX in mind, and they basically just gave it a new attack, which is pretty cool to be honest. I could see them doing this with um, some Paradox Pokemon. So for example, Roaring Moon and, um, oh, what's the other one called? Iron Valiant, I think it is, yeah. Iron Valiant. They could also do this for like Iron Leaves and Crash Awake, depending on, you know, whatever the the main Paradox Pokemon of the set that they're introduced in is. Or they could save these for, you know, a future mechanic beyond EX Pokemon. So I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if they were to release tools A specs that were, you know, tailored towards certain Pokemon, or at the very least certain Paradox Pokemon. And if you scroll down here, you can also see they did it again for Victini X and White Kyrim, I believe. Yeah, White Kyrim and Black Kyrim. So, you know, the fact that there was so many A specs that were just meant for a certain group of EX Pokemon would suggest that they would want to do something like that again in the coming year. So I wouldn't be surprised if they were to do that. But moving on, we have Master Ball, which says search your deck for Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. To be honest, I think Master Ball is way too iconic not to reprint. I do think they'll just reprint this A spec, if I had to guess. To be honest, it's just such an iconic piece. It's in pretty much every game, as far as I'm aware. I don't think there's a game where it's not in, at least in the main series. So in all honesty, I just think Master Ball will come back. It's also not super broken. Like, it's cool, but, you know, it's not the best. So if there ends up being ones that come back that are more expensive, like Dowsing Machine, Scramble Switch, or Computer Search, then at the very least, players will be able to afford something like Master Ball, hopefully. So, yeah, I honestly rate Master Ball's chances of being reprinted pretty high. I'd say about 8 or 9 out of 10. My only shadow of the doubt is that they might want to do something different, so they might have, like, a different name attached to A-Specs, and they'll say something like, master ball a spec or something in the name and it'll be completely different as a different card but the fact that they said that they were bringing back a specs would suggest that they would more likely to do reprints of current a specs and then introduce new ones so you know i think master ball is definitely going to come back at least in my opinion scoop up cyclone is a bit more awkward because it's basically just scoop up net but for any pokemon which is really cool. Um, it's kind of like, well, it's also just like Super Scoop Up, but for without the coin flip. But yeah, very cool card overall. I would say this card is only broken depending on what it has to work with. Of course, like when Glaren Zigzagoon was around, this would have been, you know, pretty devastating. But at the same time, it's not like a super broken card. It can be used to great effect to remove stuff like Luminion from the board, which is very helpful, and Squawkabilly. But I would honestly say that this card isn't super broken. You know, if you were to release this right now, I guess Iron Valiant could be another bit of a problem to worry about. But in all honesty, I think Scoop Up Cyclone wouldn't be that broken if they were to reprint it. And I rate its chances of coming back about a 6 or a 7. A bit less than Master Ball, but that's just because I think Master Ball is so iconic that you can't really not reprint it. So Scoop Up Cyclone... Yeah, I think it has a decent chance, to be honest. I do think Cyclone could come back. Life Dew, which says if this Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out, your opponent takes one for your prize cards. Kind of a broken effect. Obviously, it means that this single prize Pokemon will give up no prize cards, or it turns big tanky EX Pokemon into single prizers, which is obviously very powerful and very devastating. To be honest, this would have a very different effect on the game as opposed to, well, back in the day, I would say, because... In the black and white era, most things could at least two-shot other EX Pokemon. 
Whereas right now we've got EX Pokemon with, you know, 330 HP, which is significantly more than 180 or whatever the highest was back then for basic EX Pokemon. So, you know, it's, yeah, I'm not sure Life Dew would be as balanced, but I'm not saying it would be super broken either. I'd rate its chances of coming back maybe a bit lower than the other two, actually, probably about a 5 out of 10, maybe. Maybe a 5 out of 10. It could be a bit more. I'd be interested to see if, you know, they do bring back Life Dew because it's not a one that I think has, you know, a very high chance or particularly low chance either. It's very much 50-50 for me. So, yeah, let me know what you think about Life Dew. Do you know, do you, do you think it should come back or not? But, yeah, we can probably move on to Rock Guard, which is kind of like Bursting Balloon, but just more permanent. So it says, if this Pokemon this card is attached to is damaged or even if it's knocked out, you get to place six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon, which is really nice with like tanky Pokemon because obviously you're not expecting to get KO'd in a single hit. So you should be able to take advantage of multiple rock guards. Now, of course, this trainer is made a bit weaker by stuff like Tool Scrapper, of course, like all the other tools are, I guess. But, you know, just something to bear in mind. It's also made a bit weaker by the fact that most things are looking to want to KO each other. But to be honest... I don't think this card is super broken. Even if this was for like five damage counters, I still think it would see maybe a bit of play. It's definitely an improvement on Rocky Helmet, of course, four damage counters more. But to be honest, I don't think Rock Guard, well, I mean, I, I could see it being reprinted, but I would say it's a more of a four out of 10 chance, to be honest. I don't see them reprinting this before reprinting something like Bursting Balloon, in my opinion, but... That's just in my opinion. I think Rock Guard would be a pretty decent card. It's obviously nothing too crazy in the right deck, but you know, I don't see this card really coming back, to be honest. I don't know what it is about it, but I just don't see it happening. Dowsing Machine says discard two cards from your hand, though. If you can't discard two cards, then you can't play the card, but you do get to put a trainer card from your discard pile back into your hand. I believe this is a reincarnation of a card called Item Finder from Base Someone have to correct me if I'm wrong on that. But that was basically just a regular item, so you can imagine how broken things were in Base Set. But yeah, Dowsing Machine, pretty cool card. Obviously very good for decks like Darkrai and such that want to, well, Darkrai, Royal Moon, etc. Maybe even Lost Zone, because it just allows you to get back certain trainers' resources that you might want to reuse, like Dark Patch and Chorus. So yeah, fantastic card. Pretty broken in the right situations. Is it as broken as stuff like Computer Search or Scramble Switch? Maybe, maybe not, to be honest. I would say Dowsing Machine is more or less on par with some of the other ones, maybe even a lot better than the ones we've looked at so far. So yeah, would Dowsing Machine be good for the game though? Maybe, maybe not. It seems a bit extreme, you know, being able to get back an extra Switch card or something to use an extra Iron Valiant. To be honest, I think this card could be pretty broken if it wasn't, you know, catered for, but... To be honest, I think the odds of them reprinting Dowser Machine are actually relatively high. I'd say about a 6 or a 7 out of 10, just because the effect itself is pretty iconic. You know, I'm not saying that they would reprint it just because it's a well-known effect and, you know, they want to get back into that nostalgia for base set kind of thing. But still, I still, you know, could see Dowsing Machine being brought back into the TCG in some way. Maybe even if it was for a slightly different name, so like a newer item, and then it was like Discard 3 and then pick up a trainer card. But yeah, I think this effect will come back in some capacity. But then we can move on to Scramble Switch, which says switch your active Pokemon from your benched, and then you can move any amount of energy attached to the old active Pokemon to the new one. So it's basically like a switch plus an energy switch, but you can only use it for the Pokemon that you moved from the bench to the active, which is, it's okay, to be honest. Um, it's obviously pretty good in stuff like Roaring Moon, where you can, I don't know, Roaring Moon again, but you can basically bench stuff like Glaring Moltres, accelerate to Dark Energy to that, and then switch into Roaring Moon, and then bulk it up in one turn, basically. But aside from that, I don't think Scramble Switch would be super broken. I mean, you could use a lot of... Like, there is just a lot of fun combos that you can do with this card, which makes me optimistic that maybe they would reprint it. So I think I could probably give this about a 7 or an 8 out of 10, maybe a 9 even, because it's not a super broken card. It can be contained. It is not really a kind of like utility tool as such so it's not like dowsing machine or computer search which are just naturally broken and could fit into any deck scramble switch is more specific basically which i like about it so yeah i kind of like that and we also have victory piece which says this was another one of the tools by the way 
It says, if this card is attached to Victini EX, Victini EX can use its attacks regardless of the amount of energy, amount or type of energy attached to it. So I'll have to recheck like the translation and what this actually entails, but I'm pretty sure this just means Victini EX can attack for free, which, you know, is a pretty broken effect if it's not contained, you know, we'd have to see several, well, I'd like to think that there could be an EX Pokemon that maybe, I don't know, has one or two attacks that are semi-mediocre, but also kind of expensive. So maybe a tool card, a spec like tool card could be used, but in all honesty, it seems like a very dangerous game to play because you have to make the, you know, the attacks semi-unpayable to warrant playing the a spec. But then if you're just relying on the tool card, then that's obviously a bit risky as well. Maybe it could be used though, but in comparative to, you know, some of the other ones. Also, by the way, at the end, I will go back over G Booster and G Scope and just talk about the attack a bit because I didn't really do that at the start. So yeah, I'll do that again for the tools. But in all honesty, reducing the attack cost or, you know, changing around the energy types required, I think could be a pretty broken effect if it's with the right cards. Like I don't think Victini X was anything special back in the day, but, you know, I could definitely see this kind of tool card being reprinted basically. But yep, then we move on to probably one of the most infamous A specs of all time, Computer Search, which is of course a direct reprint of Computer Search, the item from Base Set. Very, very busted card. Discard two cards from your hand, search your deck for any one card. Very, very powerful effect. Will they reprint this? Who knows, to be honest, because on the one hand, this is an extremely broken card and pretty volatile if it's, you know, if you can play it. But at the same time, it's also very iconic and I wouldn't be surprised if they'd want to bring this back. Now they could, of course, change the roiding round again, but realistically, if you're gonna bring Computer Search back in any capacity, same with the Dowsing Machine, then you might as well just reprint them as they were. So to be honest, I think there's a pretty high chance that Computer Search and Master Ball will come back at the very least. I'm not too sure about Dowsing Machine and Scramble Switch. I mean, my hope is that they reprint them all and then we just get a few new ones, but you know, computer search, definitely, I could definitely just see re being reprinted. It's just, you know, pretty decent. Then we have Crystal Edge and Crystal Wall. Crystal Edge says this um, this white Kiram does 50 more damage. So that's okay. We've had, you know, tools in the past, that more well, more recently, like the, um, I think it's called Rusted Sword that gave Zashian plus 30 damage. So, you know, Pokemon specific tool modifiers, they're okay. Um, you obviously have to have really good attacks to or, you know, at least decent attacks to warrant playing this. So we could see, you know, a couple of Paradox Pokemon or maybe some DLC Pokemon that would warrant these tools. Of course, um, there is going to be that monkey at some point that has three different forms or something for its head. So maybe we could get a spec tools to match that monkey, potentially. Just a thought. I don't know. I'm just like going off an assumption here. But, you know, we could even get like a Terrastal a spec that changes a Pokemon type to something else, which... Could be a bit broken, but, you know, we'll have to see. Still could be cool. But yeah, Crystal Edge and then Crystal Wall basically just increases a Black Karim HP, maximum HP, to 300. So, you know, we might see an A-Spec that increases an EX HP up to 400. I kind of hope we don't because that sounds kind of broken, but we'll see. I think these HP modifiers and damage modifiers are often more fun to use than they are really good. You know, they're fun, but they're not amazing. But still, I think this could be some pretty, you know, pretty decent cards to see reprinted in some capacity. Next up, though, is we have Gold Potion, which just says heal 90 damage from your active Pokemon. Pretty straightforward potion. I don't think this is terrible now. I don't think it was terrible then, really. To be honest, it is, I guess, a bit on the weak side. You know, 90 damage really isn't what it once was when 180 was relevant, but... Still, I think Gold Potion is pretty solid, and I wouldn't be surprised if they brought a potion back, or at least, you know, something like Herba Mystica, I guess, because that's not actually been the TCG yet, but, you know, something like that, at least. But yeah, we can probably go back and spend a bit more time on G-Booster and G-Scope, just because I think if they were to bring back tools that give you alternate attacks, like the TMs that we've seen, then they could probably just scale up these ones. I mean, G Booster could be changed to deal 300 damage, discard to energy, and then G Scope could change to 100 or 150. Well, 100 to 150 or 200 Snipe, which might be a bit overpowered for G Scope actually, but you know, we'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, 
that's been my roundabout thoughts on a specs i think there is overall a decent chance that the majority of these will get reprinted in some fashion even the ones that technically can't be reprinted like crystal wall crystal edge and victory piece but you know hopefully they do come back in some regard and yeah which is your favorite a spec and thank you for watching